Breaking developments in the legal drama surrounding former President Donald Trump. NBC News has obtained a list of people who may testify during the trial, which is scheduled to begin on Monday. MSNBC legal correspondent Lisa Rubin joins us this morning. Lisa, so who's on this list? Jose, there are a number of people on this list who are not surprising at all, and they include Michael Cohen and Stormy Daniels. She, of course, being the former adult film star who received payments from Michael Cohen to keep quiet in the final days of the 2016 campaign. And, of course, former President Trump is alleged to have repaid Michael Cohen for those payments. That is the crime that the Manhattan DA's office has alleged. But this list also includes a number of other names that were less expected, and they include former White House communications director Hope Hicks, former White House secretary to former President Trump, Madeleine Westerhout. It also includes the attorney for both Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, another Playboy model who alleges she had an affair with former President Trump. They are witnesses on this list, too. It remains to be seen whether all of them will be called, but these are important witnesses who can essentially build a scaffolding around the story that Michael Cohen will tell about how these settlements came into being, what role he played in them, and then how he, former President Trump and Alan Weisselberg, worked together to disguise the fact that the payments were being made to repay Michael Cohen for having paid off Stormy Daniels in the first instance. And so, Lisa, uh, who puts the, the list together? How is it decided? And then just the fact that they're on that list doesn't mean that necessarily they will be testifying. That's correct. These are potential trial witnesses, and they are left up to the moment of trial. They're at the discretion of the party who will be calling them. I want to emphasize, Jose, to you and our viewers that the list of witnesses that we have obtained are witnesses that are expected to be witnesses for the Manhattan DA's office, not for former President Trump. So when we talk about people like, for example, Hope Hicks or Madeleine Westerhout testifying here, they are not being called by the Trump side. They're being called by the DA's office, presumably to corroborate certain details of the the story that Michael Cohen will take us through when he takes the witness stand. And so, if you would, uh, Lisa, just r remind us of what we are expecting to see come Monday. So, on Monday, Jose, we'll see jury selection, and we have some more information about that as well. When we see potential jurors enter the courtroom, they will be asked if there's any reason that they are unable to serve, and that includes whether they believe that they can't be fair and impartial on one hand to any other reasons that they might be unable to serve, including caregiving responsibilities, for, for example. In the typical trial, folks are asked to detail that. Why is it that you're unable to serve, or why is it that you believe you can't be fair and impartial? Here, for economy's sake, Judge Juan Mershon has already ruled he will not ask those questions. If somebody self-identifies as being unable to serve, they will be thanked for showing up, they will be dismissed, and then we'll move on to other prospective jurors who will fill out that 42 question, questionnaire, read their answers out loud, and then the prosecution and the defense will be given an opportunity to challenge certain jurors for cause or what's called peremptory challenges. Each of them will get 10 peremptory challenges because of the type of felony that's being charged here under New York state law. And then after they move through that first group of jurors, they'll keep going until they get 12 jurors and a certain number of alternates. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.